In the soft glow of dawn, Mayor Martin found himself in his familiar leather chair, seated in the heart of a celestial house in heaven. Each window around him represented a letter of the alphabet, but today his gaze was drawn to the window of D, destiny. As the first light of morning kissed the earth below, Mayor leaned forward, his Nikon camera resting on his lap, and peered through the window. Outside, a world unfurled, more surreal than any dream. The skies were alive with motion, a symphony of birds soaring in perfect unity. Great blue herons, white egrets, roseate spoonbills, and a myriad of others flew together, their wings beating in rhythm, creating a melody of pure harmony. These avian creatures were not merely flying, they were dancing, gliding through the sky as if drawn by an unseen force. Their destination was unknown, a place beyond the horizon where peace reigned and time stood still. Mayor could feel their collective energy, a bond of unity and grace, pulling them toward a shared purpose. The birds flew through clouds that shifted and swirled, forming dreamlike shapes that dissolved as quickly as they appeared. Mayor's fingers itched to capture this moment to preserve the harmony he witnessed. He lifted his camera, but as he looked through the lens, the world outside transformed. The birds, once separate entities, began to merge into a single, flowing ribbon of color and light weaving through the sky. They were no longer just birds. They had become a living, breathing tapestry, a symbol of perfect balance and peace. The scene outside reminded Mayor of Wakotahatchee, a place where he had spent countless mornings with his camera. But this was different. It was as if the essence of Wakotahatchee had ascended into this dream world, where the boundaries of reality and imagination blurred. The great blue heron, leading the flock, glanced back at Mare uh, as if acknowledging his presence, then turned to guide the others toward the horizon. Mare felt a deep connection to this vision, understanding that it was more than a dream. It was a reflection of his life's work, a culmination of his memories, his photographs, and his imagination. The birds were flying to a place he had always sought, a place where nature and art existed in perfect harmony, where the beauty of the world could be seen, captured, and shared. As the flock disappeared into the distant light, Mayer lowered his camera. He knew he didn't need a photograph to remember this moment. It was already etched in his heart, a part of his soul. The dream faded, but the feeling of harmony remained, a reminder that in every flight, every photograph, and every moment of stillness, there is a place where all things come together in perfect unity, a place where dreams take flight.